Hello. We are very excited to be on the stage today. And I can truly say that I can feel my heart beat. <laughs> my heart is moving. What about yours? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, everything is moving. Movement is natural. This is true for humans. At least while we're kids. Then we grow up, and then something happens. For most of us, movement becomes a part of fitness. Or we move in order to compete. Faster, higher, stronger. That's all fine. But what we lose here is our natural sense of expressive playfulness. From nature's hand, we've been hardwired to move just for the fun of it. You could call it our factory setting. Today, we're going to talk about how to reimagine this joy of movement and how to bring it in to your everyday life. We're going to show you how to explore playful movement and how to inspire others around you. Something like this. <laughs> so, <laughs> right now, Andreas and I are doing something that's called Acre Yoga. It's a form of playful movement. To do this, you need teamwork, you need to cooperate, and you need to feel each other. This approach to movement, <laughs> exploring and developing in a fun new way or context, can be transferred to other aspects of your life. <laughs> Professional, with friends, with family, you're exploring movement. You're inspiring your partner through movement. And you're challenging your perception of what it means to move. We want to create better lives by encouraging playful movement. Yes. And how do we do this? Each summer, we create a community-driven festival celebrating the diversity of movement. It's called Move Copenhagen. It's a friendly world based on fun and fascination. When 700 people from 40 different countries around the world meet up to play and to learn. Our community has the first, last four years been guided by these four values. Move, play, explore, and inspire. And I deliberately name these values as verbs because it's something that we do. It's a way of acting. So can I ask you a question? Have you been playing today? Play is to stay open to new ways of living. It is to challenge habits and norms and to explore the unknown. There's so much to gain from movement. So much that you cannot predict, count or analyze. But still it's there. And we believe that it's all a part of better lives. Researchers from Cambridge University have shown that kids uh, play to develop skills that they will use for the rest of their lives. Kids who don't play often tend to lag behind in terms of personal growth and development. That is why we want you to keep on playing. Right now, Bradley is exploring playful movement on the slack line. <laughs> The thing I love about slacklining is that it's being a one-year-old child. You're learning to walk again. Sometimes you fall. <laughs> fall. <laughs> and your legs are shaking beneath you. <laughs> In this moment, you're re-exploring your sense of balance. And it's a forgotten sense. A sense that many of us really haven't challenged since we started walking safely on two legs. To jump right in, uh, or to challenge balance, is an easy way to jump right into playful movement. Next time you're doing your dishes, maybe try standing on one leg. Or maybe even close your eyes. 
With this kind of challenge, there's no limit, no final accomplishment, nothing to indicate whether you are good enough or doing it wrong. There's only development, and your body will reward you with progress as you take up more and more challenges. Think of it as adaptation. The reward is a growing sense of mastery, no matter where you started. And that is why we prescribe play. So, what have you done to explore today? Well, right now, you're listening to us. You're changing your thinking of a new way to, uh, to view something, or finding a new way to think about something. You can also do that with movement. Um, you can find a new way to touch the world around you, to reach up to the sky, and you can find a way to grow your body while you grow your mind. When we explore movement, we can develop sides of ourselves that we didn't expect, that we didn't predict before. And when, um, and when we explore with a partner, we can find new ways of movement. So when you play and explore, you can sometimes feel like an outsider, like one who's not following the norms. But for us, that's a good thing. That's when you become an inspiration to others. And social media platforms like Facebook or YouTube or TEDx are great places where people can get together and inspire each other. Think of it this way. Say one day that you walk up and down stairs and you, you find that you really like it. Woo! So you get to the top of the stairs, you go back down again, and it was so much fun, you want to do it again. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and then you find that that was nice, but now you really want to challenge yourself, so you want to try it backwards. Hmm. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> and how about on one foot? <laughs> and on your hands? <laughs> <laughs> and on your hands backwards. <laughs> There may be some people who might scoff at that, some people who raise their eyebrows, or some people who wave their finger and say, that's not the appropriate use of stairs. <laughs> but you know, there's going to be some people who giggle or smile or who look at that and say, that looks like fun. I want to try that. And a new community of movers is born. Social media platforms are a great way to grow a worldwide community of movers. You can just post a, a video that you find that is inspiring to you. You can post your own video that is inspirational. And it spreads worldwide. Suddenly, you have a new uh, community of stairwalkers that are just started up from the videos you posted. And we know this is true because a good friend of ours did exactly this and now has thousands of views on his stair training videos. When you see something that inspires you, take that inspiration and try it for yourself. Become a part of a community of people that inspire each other. Our ability to develop ourselves is only limited by our willingness to move, play, explore, and inspire. In movement, wait. <laughs> in movement, there's a kind of acceptance of being different. Everyone has their own style, different strength and flexibility, and even different reasons to move. So there's a, a, there is an acceptance of being different in movement. And if you take this acceptance of being different and bring that into your everyday life, you'll get a society that has less conflict, less worries, less friction, more smiling faces and better lives. So to round off, let us all play for a while. Can everybody please stand up? So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a movement all together. And we're going to move in three dimensions. And I can promise you, you're going to look really silly. <laughs> so first, we're just going to do something very simple. We're going to move in one dimension. Just bend it at the knees. We're going to go down and up, down and up, down and up. Great. Now we're going to add on a second dimension. So start with your arms out here, and try not to hit your neighbor. <laughs> and you're going to bring your arms in as you go down and bring them back up again as you come back up. So down and up. <laughs> down. Excellent. You're looking silly. <laughs> Next, we're going to add a third dimension to this. So as your arms are up, 
You're going to bring them in and twist your body as you come down. So down and up. Twist them in and up. One more time. Come on in and back up. Thank you. <laughs> Sit down again. <laughs> All right. So do you know what you actually did? It's except for looking silly, of course. You are imitating the movement of a heartbeat. This shows that playful movement can be anything. You can be a lazy heart, or you can be that big and strong beating heart that's keeping you alive day after day. And don't forget, we have been moving, and we have been playing. Maybe it wasn't beautiful, and I hope it wasn't too hard, but it was movement. And maybe these exact moves wasn't really inspiring. You're probably not going to take these moves and post a video about your heartbeat routine. <laughs> it's okay if you do so. But it's not our point. Our point is to prove that you can move everywhere you are in the world. That you can create movement and become part of a moving community, no matter where you are or what you do in your life. With movement, we have created a statement. This statement can inspire the world around you. Maybe to move like you, or like you. Um, it may look silly, but it's always available to us. It's a matter of choice. So go play. Go explore and help us to inspire others so we can create better lives through playful movement. Thank you for being brave and for looking silly. <laughs> <laughs>